Hello and welcome to another episode of Energy and Star Sign Readings with myself, Thomas Janak. We're looking at the week of October the 11th to the 17th, 2021. Now, let's start this video off by being super spiritual. So repeat after me. What the fuck? <laughs> yes, because this month, seven planets are in retrograde. So while we really only oftentimes feel Mercury's um, impact, if that makes sense, there are a lot of planets that apparently, even though they don't really stop and go backwards, but because they tend to be they, they tend to have a difficult time in their own orbit and in their own eclipses. <clears throat> we obviously feel it. Good thing is that four of these seven planets are also going are coming out of retrograde in October. But cut a long story short, obviously a lot of people have reported this, um, and I'm one of them. The energies have been all over the place. If that makes sense, right? So let's have a look if the energy is all over the place this week. Like I said, we're looking at the week of October the 11th to the 17th, 2021. Remember, smash that like button, subscribe, share the video. And if you are, if you want to support my work financially, you can now buy me a coffee on www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. So... That's all done. Let's have a look at the overall energy for the week ahead. And like I said, the week we're looking at is October the 11th to the 17th, 2021. We are in the star sign of Libra. And then next week, mid next week, we're actually going into Scorpio. So anyway, before we go into any star signs, let's have a look at the overall energy for the week ahead. And we have the cat and the jaguar. In other words, we really have two cats. <laughs> So the main thing you need to obviously know when you have the element of felines, the, the main message is just do your thing. Don't pay too much attention to um, rules and regulations, if that makes sense. Just do your thing. Really, really important for you to be self. Well, self-sufficient is probably the wrong word, but, you know, do really, you know, do your own stuff, right? Because we have the domesticated cat and then we have the jaguar. So, what is important about this, that the jaguar is the animal that always, you know, when, when, when the, the fur is different, becomes a panther, which means there's a part of the jaguar that easily goes into hiding, which is why the panther is oftentimes depict, uh, depicted, you know, with the jaguar hiding its spots. But we're not having a, um, a panther, we're having a jaguar. What the guides are saying to you is, be yourself. That doesn't mean you have to be antisocial, but, you know, be really, truly, be who you truly are. And because you have the Jaguar, show your uniqueness, right? Really, really important. Don't hide anything. Um, just learn to be confident and comfortable with who you truly are. That is the overall energy for the week ahead. Let's have a look at the first star sign, <clears throat> which is obviously... Libra. Let's have a look what we got for you Librans out there. Right. The past is coming up for Libra. You have the ancestor of skill and the dance of recon reconciliation. What that means is areas that you have explored earlier in life maybe didn't work out. Right? And all they're saying is this week October 11th to the 17th. Why don't you try and let it go? Why don't you try and make peace with the things that just weren't meant to be or that weren't happening for whatever reason, right? This is the week for you to sort of make, make sure that you're no longer carrying stuff with you that simply can put you off and kind of go like, oh, you know, there's the, all these regrets and stuff. Just let it go. Really, really important to let it go. But also remember <clears throat> that just because things didn't work out, you were still courageous because 
and you probably uh, can attest to that, there are tons of people out there that you may know that do fake all with their lives. They never try anything, right? No risks. And so when you are a person that has taken some considerable risks to make something work and then it didn't work, at least, at least you tried and you tried more than your best. And this is the week for Librans to say like, okay, but I'm letting go <clears throat> of that feeling I failed and that kind of stuff, right? Really, really important. That's all we got for Libra. Looking at the next star sign, which is Scorpio. <clears throat> Excuse me. Scorpio, <laughs> you have the butterfly and the fish. That's short and sweet. What the universe is saying to you, Scorpios, is simple. You are ready for whatever life throws at you. You're absolutely ready. But this is a week for you to step away from everything as best you can and just spend some time, not well, maybe on your own, but at least away from the, the stresses that life can bring, right? Just remove yourself as best you can. You know, if you can have a few days off, that would be perfect, if that makes sense. <coughs> but you're ready for whatever life throws at you. And there's a good chance because you have the butterfly saying, well, you know, um, you're, you're more than, than ready. And then you have the fish that says, yeah, but you need a bit of space and a bit of time. Really, what this means is because you're ready for whatever new things are manifesting right now, maybe just take a few days to, you know, gather your thoughts and uh, recharge your batteries. Okie dokie, that was that. We're looking at the, at the week of October the 11th to the 17th, 2021. That was the star sign of Scorpio. Now we're going into the star sign of Sagittarius. Sagittarians, you have the raven and the coyote. So, the raven, by default, is associated with magic. And it's also associated with um, illumination, which means you will see whatever needs to be seen right now. So, it feels to me that for Sagittarians, again, we had this earlier with um, another star sign here, I think with the star sign before, maybe with Scorpio, where, um, oh, I don't know, anyway, where the past is, uh, came up. <clears throat> and I feel for Sagittarians, the past is coming up. And all the guides are saying is, look at all the things that you have actually done right. Look at all the things where you went the extra mile, either for yourself or for others, and pat yourself on the back. With the knowledge that you are a good person, and once you realize, wow, you know, I, you know, I really did my best in many situations, even when they were difficult. You have then the coyote, which is an animal of transformation as well, and of good fortune. But the main message for, for, of the coyote for Sagittarians in this case is for you to realize that you have survived everything. Anything you went through so far, you have survived without, well, maybe not unscathed, but you know, you survived it. <laughs> and the coyote is basically saying to you, like, you know, um, there will always be enough for you to survive, and the universe will always make sure you are supported, right? That's that. That was Sagittarians going to the next star sign, <clears throat> which is Capricorn. Let me just have a look. Oh, he's in my throat. Let me just stop this for a second. I need some water. So, <laughs> that was Sagittarius. Let's go to the next star sign, which is Capricorn. Capricorns, you have the deer and the heron. And the deer is an animal that really, really functions best early morning. And sort of when the, the sun sets, what the guides are saying to you is, make sure you have enough energy this week, therefore, it is time for you <clears throat> this week, or it is important for you this week, to just rest. So that's what the deer tells you. And then the heron is a bird that stands on the water with one leg. And when the fish comes, it goes, thank you. So these are, this is symbolism. All that means is allow for things to come to you 
right? You will see what is for you and what isn't. Don't chase anything. Don't be chased. Don't have people putting tons of demands on you this week because energetically speaking, for Capricorns, you need to really look at your energy levels and see if you can vibrate a little higher <clears throat> or idle a little higher. And that's really all there is for the star sign of Capricorn. Now we're going to the next star sign, which is Aquarius. We're looking at the week of October the 11th to the 17th, 2021. Huh, Aquarians, you have the cow and the owl. This is the week for Aquarians to realize that it is in your energy to attract needy people, to attract people that um, need guidance all the time, right? It is in your DNA to attract these people. <clears throat> and you must have already, you must know this already, <coughs> what they're saying to you because you have the cow and the owl. The cow is the animal that is often called the Übermother. So it is a really strong symbol of um, femininity, if that makes sense. But it's also a sign of fertility. So what the guides are trying to say to you is that you are a good person. You can continue to be a good person. But you also need to realize that there is a side to you that is very pure. And when people, <clears throat> in a way, burden you with their stories and enter your aura without asking first, they can drain you. And it's important for you to keep the people at bay as best you can this week to not be too affected because you have the owl. And the owl obviously <clears throat> is an animal that draws an auditory map to hit a mouse in the undergrowth. So for you, it is important to figure out this week, who is causing my energy to go low? And is it worse being around them? These are actually quite big questions. But these are the questions that I hear are for you to look at this week, right, Aquarians? And that's really all the guys have. Here we go, going to the next star sign, which is my star sign, Pisces. <laughs> Very similar. <clears throat> we have that a lot of overlapping energies. We have the spider and the dog. So, Pisceans, you and I, <laughs> you decide who is in your web of life. You decide who you allow into your inner circle and you also are the one that allows or that decides or should decide how many people are actually taking up space in your web of life that you created to be welcoming to all right really really important so again it's about um, reflecting on what's going on right who should i look at what's going on and then you have the dog which is all about being loyal to yourself. So, in other words, it's just a week for us. There's not too much heavy energy here for, for Pisceans. Really, really cool. Um, I don't know if this, if this sound goes away or not, because the council is outside, they're doing the, um, the hedges. Mm -hmm. In any case, <laughs> for us Pisceans, what is really, really important is simply just to, to look at how much space we allow people, and if it is really a good idea to give all that much space to them and then ultimately if you felt like you know you're draining my energy a little it needs to be said and then you need to be loyal to yourself and look after yourself as best you can right that was the energy for pisceans going to the next star sign which is the star sign of aries we're looking at the week of october the 11th to the 17th 2021 aries you got the spirit of destruction and the spirit of love <clears throat> symbolism what it really means for Aries remember I always say that because it's always true you are the very first star sign in the zodiac you are the beginning you are where everything starts astrologically speaking but because you have the spirit of destruction and the spirit of love what they're saying is Love is in the air, clearly, so they're asking you to look or reflect on the, 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 the love relationship you're in or close relationships you have with others, even if it is friendship. 
and there's more so either this is about reflection where they're asking you reflect on the relationship and maybe just really you know have conversations to iron out what isn't working and if you aren't in a relationship but are getting ready to allow for another one to happen the spirit of destruction is not about destruction it just means you know put things to rest right so whatever you carry with you is also not helpful let it go right try not to bring too much luggage and baggage into the next relationship allow yourself to cry things out if you still sit there if that makes sense so when you are looking at what am i still carrying around with me that doesn't really serve me that's the first big step because your outgoing energy aries is the spirit of love so as far as the universe is concerned right there's love in the air and it might be glorious okie dokie that was the star sign of aries going to the next star sign which is taurus Let me just close the window, maybe it doesn't, doesn't make a difference. Not really, eh? It is a bit more quiet. <laughs> anyway, we are with the star sign of Taurus now. We're looking at the week of October the 11th to the 17th, 2021. Please like, please share, please subscribe to the channel. And if you like my work and you want to support me financially, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium. Thomas, how this works is you can donate uh, a fiver, a tenner, or 15 pounds. And if you donate a fiver, I get four pounds 34. Um, and it does help me um, creating more videos, if that makes sense. Here we go. We're in the star sign of Taurus. And you have the spirit of initiation and the spirit of nurture. This is an appeal, Taurians, to your spiritual core. What the guides are basically saying to you is, be your spiritual self, which is actually the, which was actually the overall energy for the whole year of 2021. The overall or the main message that the guides had for 2021 is to be your spiritual self. Now that's what what they're asking you to be right now, Koreans. You have the spirit of initiation, which means there is so much more that is for you to look at spiritually. You just need to make time. Um, to allow it in, if that makes sense. It also feels to me that if you're really studying something, have a closer look. Maybe you can excel in it rather than just be okay with it, if that makes sense, right? Put the work in. And then you have the spirit of nurture. It's the outgoing energy. What they're saying is pay attention to what it is you would like to do or you're already doing spiritually, right? Really focus on what makes you whole and then be good to yourself. And it sounds weird because I don't think, you know, be good to yourself for a change is the right word. But being good to yourself, really nurturing you, looking at what it is you really want, rather than um, looking at the, the, the bigger picture and, oh, I, I, you know, I want to make sure that they are all right and he's all right and she's all right. La, 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 la. This is a time this week for Taurians. And it's not a, not even a matter of being selfish. It's just like you know, I I you know, you you're here. You're a person. You know, you want your batteries recharged. You want your energy high. So uh, don't be drained. Okie dokie. That was uh, Taurians going to the next star sign, which is Gemini. We have Gemini, Cancer, Leo, and Virgo left. This is Gemini. Gemini, you have a lot of birds here. You have birds as a plural and you have the hawk birds as a plural basically mean for gemini is to step back see things from a higher point of view right look at your life and at the world at large from a higher point of view right ask yourself what am i seeing am i in a am i in a place that allows me to grow or am I in a place that just drains me, right? So that's another important, really important thing for Geminis to do this week. And then you have the hawk. The hawk uses the upthrust of the air to glide. Therefore, what they're saying to you is, while you're reflecting on where you are, and also removing yourself from too much hustle and bustle, um, still try and just glide a little, right? Don't get too upset about anything. Just try to go with the flow, if that makes sense. And remember, we have seven planets in retrograde 
in October, um, while four of them actually, for four of them, the retrogradation comes to an end. The point is the energy might, at this point in time, be quite difficult and all over the place. So, therefore, the air, the absence of the air that would hit the hawk to glide might be a bit uneven too. <clears throat> and yet, it's still good to just go with the flow. That was Gemini, <clears throat> going to the next star sign, which is Cancer. We're looking at the week of October 11th to the 17th, 2021. You have the dolphin and the fox. Okay, it feels to me, energetically speaking, that Cancerians, no matter what happens to you, you're never satisfied. Right? There's always something that you feel like, oh, this isn't working. And all this, what they're asking you is to say, like, live in, be in the now at all times. Look at what you can control and let go of anything that you really can't. Because you have the dolphin, which means, yes, to a certain extent, you um, pretend everything is okay, if that makes sense. And it doesn't really work to do that. But what the guides are saying to you is it's pointless getting too upset about stuff. It makes more sense to say, like, okay, this isn't quite working. Let's manifest a different tomorrow, if that makes sense. Because you have the fox as the outgoing energy. And the fox is literally telling you you're an old soul. Not only have you been here before, but you need to focus on which situations in my life tend to be reoccurring. Okay, so because that's where the lessons lie. If you if you come across the same type of situations all the time and they still feel crappy, then obviously there needs to be a different response to them. Right? And that's what you ought to be focusing on uh, this week, Cancerians. But my feeling with Cancerians is that there's a frustration still in the air for Cancerians. And it is pointless to feel frustration because it lowers your vibration and it makes it harder to manifest. Okay, going to the next star sign, which is Leo. Leo, you have the crocodile and the tiger. What the universe or what the guides are basically saying to, to Leos, again, overlapping energy, uh, this has been part of many star signs to different, to various extents, if that makes sense. They're asking you to realize that opportunities will come to you you do not have to go looking for them. And certainly you don't have to be like, oh my God, why isn't this happening? And I need this and I need this and I want this to happen. The more you go into panic mode, the more you are trying to survive somehow, the less things work. So what they're saying to you is remember the stamina you came here with. Remember how powerful you are, if that makes sense. And another important thing is don't apologize for who you are. Right? So if you are a Leo with health issues, you didn't choose them and you didn't put them there, you know, for the most part, if that makes sense. So, you know, if people judge you, right, screw them. They have no right to judge you, right? You're going through your life and it is difficult enough without other people being negative, right? So tell people off as well, it makes sense. <clears throat> that was Leo going to the very last star sign for the week. <clears throat> Excuse me which is Virgo. You are watching Energy and Star Sign Readings with myself, Thomas Janak. We are looking at the week of October the 11th to the 17th, 2021. Please, please, please smash the like button, subscribe, and please, please, please share the video widely. Okie dokie, last star sign for the week, which is Virgo. And here we go with the message for Virgo. You have the tomahawk and the heavens. The tomahawk is a symbolism for saying, let's bury the hatchet. And the heavens is basically the universe saying, you are from the stars, your ancestors are watching you, loved ones are watching you, and watching you is not meant in a, let's see what he's up to or she's up to this week. They're with you, right? You have all the support that you could ever need. You're not alone. But because you have the tomahawk, it is pointless fighting systems, fighting people, um, while they're not asking you to just, you know, um, stop looking out for your needs and for yourself. That's not what they're asking you to do. But if there are situations, which they obviously have to be, otherwise the guides wouldn't bring it up, 
Virgos, if there are areas where you have tried again and again and again and it just sits, doesn't sit right and things are not working, how many more minutes, months, fucking years will you try? And the guides are saying, can't help you, your decision. But they're asking you to bury the hatchet, make peace with whatever it is that keeps you in this mode, if that makes sense. Right? This is, um, <laughs> that was my attempt to show frustration. <laughs> it is not helpful to be frustrated. While it is understandable, it is simply not helpful. And all the guides are saying is, being frustrated, wouldn't it then make sense to see which of the frustrations that come your way can you actually halt or let go of and make peace with life the way it is? So that was the Energy and Star Sign reading for the week of October 11th to the 17th, 2021. Thank you so much and I see you all very soon. Bye-bye.